The cost of living continues to grow with record inflation impacting most things we buy. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Kelly Jackson. Those cost increases hit especially deep for ones growing our plants, crops, and produce. Abby Larico takes a look tonight at how our local farmers are weathering it. Even amid February showers. If it's cool outside in the greenhouses, we love it. They're thinking of spring flowers and fruits and vegetables at T's Farm in North St. Louis County. We're always excited for a new year. Roots here run deep for Dave Tease, fifth generation to farm this land. This year, that means digging deeper into his budget. We're probably looking anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of our input costs being higher. Even at a local farm, everything from the energy to regulate the greenhouses to the plastic containers for the plants comes from somewhere else. And that is getting more expensive. Everything we touch, it has increased in price from a seed that we will put into the ground, the herbicides that we will use to control weeds. Uh, in some cases, farmers are paying nearly 300% more for fertilizer going into this spring. Garrett Hawkins, president of the Missouri Farm Bureau, says growing costs of fuel and products plus labor and supply chain hangups will inevitably be passed along to us. When you pay more for meat uh, at the meat counter or when you're paying more for that frozen vegetable uh, in the freezer, just know that that doesn't necessarily mean that higher price is going to the pocketbooks of farmers and ranchers. The Tease family's confident they can weather this. You learn to deal with it. With hopes consumers are preparing for this season too. I think in general everybody's going to have to get prices up still a little bit in order to be sustainable. Abby Larico, five on your side. All right, so here's another example of how everything goes back to the farm. The ongoing chip shortage, making it hard to buy a car. Well, of course, that's impacting farm equipment as well. Meanwhile, although this month we um, had uh, we recorded the highest price increase in four decades, economists project prices to decrease by the end of the year.